Hello, I've been back on the bike a little bit. Tonight I've decided I am gonna join the Thursday night race. I haven't raced since the 1st of June. I had a look back on Strava where we raced the Fan Flats. I'm not expecting a lot from this. Um, I, as I said, I've been back on the bike a little bit. I did an hour long ride with the, the banded ride that's back on a Saturday morning uh, and another sort of 40 minute ride on Tuesday. It, that shows you how bad things have got. I'm struggling sort of just over the half an hour mark. I said I managed to do the hour. Quite pleased that I managed to do that. So that gives you an idea about where I'm starting back from again, having been off and unfit and eating badly for so long. But I've got to start somewhere. And it has started this week. I feel good for it. Um, but I said tonight, going to join the race. Who knows how it's going to go. I'll hang on for as long as I can. If that's a minute, it's a minute. If it's if it's a bit longer, it's a bit longer. I don't really know. It's really hot. You could probably tell I'm a bit hot and sweaty. I've been moving around a little bit in the last sort of half an hour. Um, yeah, over 30 degrees here, which I know to some of you guys who watch this is nothing. <laughs> but for me and for us Brits, that is, that is warm. Uh, that's going to affect tonight. I'm going to have the fan up full blast and just do what I can <clears throat> for as long as I can and then casual ride it afterwards uh, and get to the end but we shall see let me get changed and jump on see how it goes two laps of the electric loop in mercury for this one relatively flat which is good because that's how i like it <laughs> and good for the first time racing in a little while what's this six five or six d's here in the group as well which is really good someone to sit in with had to put out that usual bit of a blast at the start over 300 watts make sure that i stay in with the group and interestingly i didn't fall back normally at the start of a race i kind of fall back out of the group and have to catch but this case i didn't so uh off to a good start but uh just coming up to the start line now uh, and we're grouping up quite nicely as a group not too long a race i think i think we'll just go through this start line here i think it was about Oh, there we go, 17.9 kilometers uh, after that very short lead in. So not too long a race, relatively flat. I couldn't oh, completely remember the course route either, if I'm honest. Um, but yeah, off we go. We're at the two minute mark, 1.1 kilometers in. We've grouped up quite well. I don't feel too bad at this point. I'm putting out a bit here, 250 watts I was up at that point. Um, but I'm hanging on. And I'm hanging on better than I thought I might do. I genuinely thought that people could potentially just disappear ahead of me. But I've managed to latch onto the back of the group. I did spend most of the race on the back here. This is one of those points that I struggle with sometimes. Up this little sort of longer two, three percenters. They kind of kill me because I can, I can put out bigger power to overcome my weight difference for short, sharp climbs. This is slightly longer. Um, I've got a drafting boots, which makes it a little bit easier. Um, but we're kind of grouping up okay. We're a little bit spread out, but we're, we're grouping up okay. JS, who's on the front, spent most of this race on the front. And I got the impression they wanted to go a bit faster, but was holding back to make sure, you know, to get the benefit of the group and get us there all together. The Seas have already closed that gap uh, to 1 minute 33. So they're, they're storming along behind us. And there's quite a few of them there. Um, there's at least sort of six or seven I can see on the screen and probably some more behind but uh, we're doing okay at the moment coming up to five minutes here and I am starting to feel it a little bit I'm, my cheeks are puffing I've fallen off the back of this group sort of almost losing the drafts a couple of times you can see how all over the place my power graph is had to put out a blast there to make sure I could catch back up to the guys and not lose them that is probably in the majority of my races <laughs> to be fair just making sure i don't lose the group benefit from that draft and just stay with them for as long as i can um but we still got 15 kilometers to go <laughs> i've stopped pedaling there you can see i am starting to struggle already three kilometers in but hanging in there i'm just hanging in there going through the arcade here about halfway around the first lap four and a half kilometers in we are a little bit spread out. I'm again, you can see my power is just about this is a flat race, and my power is literally power out to try and stay with them and then drop off to recover. JS still slightly off the front there, probably trying to get us to go that little bit faster. Uh, and we do have one uh, I Davies has dropped off the back as a D, um, but still, we've got a 55 second lead over the seas that's coming down pretty rapidly, and I don't think there's any any belief that they wouldn't catch us at some point in the race 
over 10 minutes I've lasted with the group and that came as a bit of a surprise. I didn't think I'd stay with them for quite that long. Um, I've been at the back the majority of the race. I'm sorry to the rest of the Ds for not pushing the group forward. I just it, it was just me hanging on. I'm starting to really feel it. Cheeks are puffing, wanting it to end already and we're only six and a half kilometres in but I'm doing what I can and I, at this point I kind of set myself a target. Right, get to the end of the lap. There's not far to go if i can get to the end of the lap maybe i can get to the next quarter of a lap and just set those mini targets to see what i can do and i made it end of the first lap you can see on my face i'm feeling it but then i thought okay I, i'm gonna be honest i thought to myself do i do i just slow down here and i thought no i'm gonna keep going i can see that the seas are 20 seconds behind us can i stay with this group for a while and almost you can see where i fought in two minds because i nearly fall off the back of the group here in fact, I do fall five metres behind. I have to put out a bit of a power burst to coast up behind them again. But that, I mean, that sea cap difference is down to 17 seconds now. So I thought, okay, I'm going to just hold. And I knew it would possibly blow apart when the seas came through. But hang on for as long as I can. Keep going. Not much further around that lap. The seas did catch us. You can see I'm on the back of the group here. I'm still trying my best to hang on to them, but I know when these guys come through, I've got no hope of, you know, if the pace goes up, I've got no hope of catching on. My legs have gone. My back's hurting a bit. I'm uncomfortable on the bike. I need to get used to time on the bike again. I know we've run on 17 minutes, <laughs> which just seems crazy, but I'm absolutely spent. I lasted longer than I expected to. I hung on long with that group longer than I expected to. So I was really, really pleased. But yeah, I just, I thought back off, do the rest of the route, the rest of this lap at a more casual pace and let them go and race it off up the front. Here I am coming around to finish the race then, just to prove I did do it. Thank you so much to Colin for dropping back and giving a, a bit of a tow. Uh, from the final five kilometers, all I wanted to do is just get off the bike. I, I wasn't going to, I'd never have done that because I wanted to get to the end, but it, I was just... Yeah, I, I guess we all have that at times on the bike where we just want to get off <laughs> and not go any further. But I pushed through that that final little bit and got it finished. And congratulations to Colin for taking the win, 29.58. That was a bit of a mess, as expected. Um, in fact, I probably did a little bit better than I thought I would. I hung on to the group, as you saw, for the first lap. The seas coming through. I, I, I was at the edge at the point they caught us. Um, of being able to hang on and, and have the energy to push again to stay onto the back of the group. Seas came through and I knew that was race over, so I just enjoyed the ride. <sighs> enjoyed, that's not the right word. Um, I endured. <laughs> I was not, uh, with 5k to go, I was looking forward to getting off the bike. I was aching, not feeling good, um, but as it, it's getting back on the bike, isn't it? It is what it is, and thank you to Colin for dropping back uh, and giving me a bit of a tow round to the finish line. All in all, though, I did enjoy it, weirdly. Look back on those things, I think that was great. I'm feeling really good now. I know it's the step back on to trying to catch up with where I used to be. It's when you do these things, you realise how far you've dropped back. But uh, I'm determined to get there and beyond. Um, how many times have I said that before? I don't know. But yeah, I, I jumped on and did the after race social ride which was awesome catch up with some of the guys on discord we haven't had that sort of chat on a ride for a long time so it's brilliant to to chat to those guys i did 15 minutes as a bit of a cool down and then i've just done a kettlebell workout oddly i've had kettlebells for years and never used them i found a short workout online to do uh, on youtube so i thought i'd do that uh, and now i'm making i think my back's aching a bit and i'm going to regret it tomorrow <laughs> so we'll see how it is but I just wanted to add something else in to help kick start um, you know that return to fitness isn't right because I was never fit but you know what I mean you know what I mean anyway I'm hot sweaty I want to go and have a shower a cold shower have some dinner and uh, chill out for a bit so I'll catch you later I didn't hurt too much the next day surprisingly I could feel it but it wasn't as bad as potentially it could have been it's Saturday afternoon now. It is warm, <laughs> really, really warm, melting a bit. But I did jump on and do the return ride, the Saturday morning banded group ride that we've brought back uh, for the second week. So it's good to get uh, on there and have a chat on Discord with some of the guys as well. Enjoyed that ride, an hour long, did the hour with no worries or issues whatsoever. At a very low, very low watts per kilogram, 
uh, wattage though. Um, oh no, I did do a little bit of a sprint uh, part way through and at the end. Still, I'm really pleased with this. It's still got over a thousand watts in the sprint at the end. So happy to see those numbers given my length of time off the bike. So that's a, that's a positive. But then did another repeat kettlebell workout afterwards. I am starting to feel it in my legs now. I've got to be a bit careful with that, but yeah, I'm feeling really good and really quite positive being back on the bike. I've had a, as I said, I've been on a few more times this week and I have had a chat with my wife about when I can fit it in, when I when she's okay with me riding and being away from them and making sure I get my time to myself and using that for riding. So hopefully I'll be able to get on three days a week on a Tuesday, a Thursday and a Saturday and hopefully get time in there to put some videos together as well. So uh, yeah, feeling really positive. I, I'm a bit, I'm a bit sad and annoyed with myself for letting things get as bad as they have, but life has happened, babies have happened. It's been a bit crazy. Um, and I'm looking forward to this heat finishing. I feel really sorry for my daughter. The whole of the, the six weeks of the summer holiday that she had was pretty rainy and miserable, stuck inside a lot of the time. And then the week she goes back to school, blazing sun. So I feel really sorry for her, but I will be glad when it starts to cool down like it should do in the next couple of days. Um, a huge thank you as usual to all the channel members coming up the screen now. Your support is amazing. Thank you so much. Um, and yeah, hopefully they get some regularity in these videos coming back. I get on the bike more often, start enjoying it and then start sticking with the group, with a D group for the whole of a race, which is my first target uh, as my stages of returning to where I was before. So uh, fingers crossed that won't take too long. Um, but feeling really, really positive. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.